Century in the eastern part of Turkey, very funny, because he um, was corrupted. You know? Corrupt guy, he loved his money, and he would like to get married with the daughter of the Sultan, Soliman, okay, the biggest. So he declared that, and Soliman was happy about this, but the people, as I told you, didn't like him. So there was a rumor, rumor going around, they were speaking about Rustam Pasha has the leprosy illness. So Sultan Soliman immediately sent his physician doctor to check his body, to check him actually. He checked his body where he couldn't find a sign of leprosy. So he checked his clothes as well, where he found the lice. So in that century, the people believed that um, lice wouldn't go to a man who had the leprosy. So he was saved from that remark. There is a saying in Turkish since then, if a man was lucky like Rustam Pasha, even an animal disgusting like rice will help him to be lucky because he got married with uh, Sultan Suleiman daughter. He, he was he became prime minister, Grand Vizier, so he became rich. If you are rich, Muslim, you have to do two things to show up a little bit. A mosque for the society and the fountain. Of course, he became a grand, uh, prime minister, Grand Vizier, so he has to pay for a mosque. He spoke with the architect Sinan, important for us, like Leonardo, you know, for us. Uh, so he built this mosque in the first floor. So the grand floor just shops to sell, to finance his mosque. So uh, actually it's, um, it was chosen by the Newsweek. The, the, and uh, in 2010, in the United States, the coziest ever. So it has beautiful tiles inside from the 16th century. For me, it's more blue than the blue mosque. Uh, the tourists call it the name Blue Mosque actually, it's because the dominant color of the tiles are blue. The god lives in the sky, so the dominant color should be blue. Even the columns are covered with um, tiles. So uh, our next stop will be the king stop, the baklava, Turkish pastry and some more. But before that, would you like to go up and see the mosque? Five minutes with me, so you're yes. so Mexican. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
so when I was little, <laughs> so this is the main drop, we turn there five times per day. Each prayer will take five to seven minutes. Two, two. So we pray uh, and the call. And you don't have to come to the to pray, okay? Just on Fridays, it's an obligatory for men. Women are yes. rest day, but not anymore. It's a rest day like in the Arabic countries. The Sunday. He changed, after the change of the constitution. So uh, Fridays, you know what? flavor, no honey inside, just sugar, heat it up to 180 degrees, okay, on the first floor. So the flavor could be like rose, for example, which we have roses in the southern part of Turkey. We grow roses and sell everywhere, the classical one. And it's look, the per kilo it's four dollars. If you go to the spice market, it will be forty dollars per, per kilo, as I told you. And the pistachio is more expensive. For $10 per kilo, which would be $50 in spice market, for example. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. May I? Yes. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. And it means? The God is the unique one. The only one. Just one God. Okay. And some tea for the morning and olives. And then we went to the cockroach intestine, sweet bread and raw with intestines, oregano, pepper, salt. Afterwards, we had the Turkish lentil soup mm -hmm. with some pepper soup, up, lemon. And then we went to the Western Pasha Mosque. Afterwards, we went to the, the Turkish pastry. Baklava, pistachio, the nest, remember the nest, the walnut candies, yeah, the sweet, and the cut with water, cream. <laughs> then we walked in the market. We went to the pide, the pide with pastrami and sucho, the turkey salami, like pizza. Then we had the pomegranate juice. After that, we went to the fourth generation, 1865, the Turkish Delight shop, where we had the Turkish Delight, the halva with pistachio, and the candies. Right? And then we went to the Han, the hotel inn, remember? Where we had the tea and chicken breast pudding with cinnamon. Then we walked through that weird area with lots of men to get the doner. Yeah, the meat. That was good. And then we went to Did you like, he was just asking, oh. did you enjoy the last piece? Oh, delicious, mm -hmm. delicious. Thank you. And then the bosa. The crack with fermented. Yeah. 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 Yeah.